Hi, my name is Muiza Zulu. I am an artist, I am a human rights activist, and I am a recent graduate of politics and international relations. So I feel like I represent a very um, important group of people because um, I'm a young woman. Um, I'm also a young person, meaning youth. Um, I'm also a creative person, so I'm also part of the creative world. And I feel like that's the first thing that I would want to say to the president. You know, representation is very, very important. Um, I have noticed that things like gender equality by, you know, many politicians in Africa around the world are just, you know, for sure. Oh, we need um, gender equality, so let's have a female running mate, you know, but um, we need to feel it beyond that. Um, I feel like there hasn't been so much gender sensitivity. Um, it's only been a few months of the new government, but uh, I can already feel, you know, a little less gender sensitivity than we need. And so I'd like, I, I'd like to feel more represented as a woman, you know, as, as a young person. Um, youth representation also, you know, because it's one thing to just, you know, have, I mean, this, the last election was a young people election. It was young people. So many young people that lined up, woke up in the morning to go and vote. Young people getting involved in political conversations, which, you know, we haven't seen much of in the past, but now we have because young people have realized that, you know, it's our country. And so we have to be part of the process. So we don't just end at voting. We would like to be part of the processes beyond the vote. Um, yeah, and also I mentioned that I am also representing a creative um, sector. And I feel like as a creative, as an artist, particularly as a musician, I feel like for a long time, artists have, have survived, the sector has survived with very little help from the government or the president or things like that. Um, in the last regime, for example, artists were, artist involvement with the government was mostly for praise singing. You know, you sing a campaign song for this politician and things like that. But beyond that, I feel like art can be a very sustainable, you know, um, industry, sector. Um, places like Nigeria are thriving on art. Places like the United States, Hollywood, you know, it's known for art because I mean, what else is Hollywood apart from art? So yeah, I, I, I feel like we need um, more investment in the, in the in the non-formal you know side of life yes there's the formal people in formal employment there's the business people but we don't really feel like we have a place in either of them you know so yeah i would i would love for the president to you know um understand that artists are also part of the country and can you know contribute positively to the country well, see, I am um, very privileged to be one of those who actually went through education without much struggle. I went to a private university, um, which meant that, you know, we were not, um, we were what people would consider the more privileged, you know, group of university students. But, you know, I have friends, family who, you know, go to the University of Zambia, the Copper Belt University, and, you know, one of the things that you know, um, one of the promises that were made by this government were largely based on, or well, not one, but some of them, were largely based on education. When we come into office, we will um, suspend loan repayment for students, you know, things about meal allowances and things like that. And you know, it's genuinely a struggle. Um, I'm happy though that um, in the recent past, we've seen the politicians, the president himself, the minister of finance talking about how there'll be more fair distribution of the bursaries because we don't want um, people who can afford to go to school to be the ones you know receiving um, the bursaries that should be given to people who can't afford to go to school children of who and who you know shouldn't be the ones you know benefiting um, from what is supposed to be benefited from by the poor um, it's not just university even primary education there's a huge level of inequality I should say um, between urban and rural areas because when you go to a rural area, recently there was a post on Facebook and people were commenting on, were commenting with photos of schools that they think deserve to be helped. And it was heartbreaking, you know. You, you look at the picture and you think, I can't believe someone, you know, is, this is where they're getting their education. You know, they sit on the floor. Some of them don't even have a floor. They just sit under the tree, you know, and things like that. So I feel like there's a lot of work to be done in the education sector. And it's very important because, I mean, education is the key to success, as they say. Speaking from 
experience i haven't i haven't had to be in the hospital you know but um very recently with the whole covid pandemic um, my grandmother got covid and she had to be in the she had to be hospitalized for a bit and it was sad to see that you know there's so much there's back then there would be you know ministers saying you know two million quarter is not is not a lot of money that's money for shopping you know but um you you your grandmother is sick she has to be in the hospital and they say oh you have to buy your own i, I think that's called a drip or something you have to buy your own this and that the only thing we can give you is panado you know which is a very sad situation um you know and also this this is a bit in in the in the further past but um, one time my dad was also in the hospital and there was issues of no water in the hospital. You have to climb, I don't know how many floors um, to your ward. You have to climb, I don't know how many floors down just to get a bucket of water, you know, which, is, which shouldn't be the case. I feel like Zambia is a very rich country, you know, so we shouldn't really have that many uh, people um, suffering, which is another thing because, I mean, Zambia is in debt and all of that. And currently I'm seeing... Um, the government leaning towards a lot of foreign um, loans, grants and things like that. And I feel like we can do better as a country. We are in a very bad place now, so it's understandable that we can't immediately do away with borrowing and things like that. But I feel like we need to begin to invest in local solutions. We have a huge youth population. A lot of the time you look at the youth, they are just drinking in the streets and things like that, but that's a very productive um, group of young people. So I feel like we need to start looking for local solutions to our economic problems instead of just looking at the IMF and the World Bank and you know European community and all those things. If I was stuck in a room with the president for two minutes, uh, first of all I'd probably ask him to give me just a few more minutes because I'd have so much to say but I feel like um, one of the things I'm passionate about which I've already spoken about is representation. I feel like I would like to feel represented in, 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 in political systems systems in, in government, you know, and I would like to feel part of the solution, you know, um, it's not just the president with the solutions, it's not just the IMF with solutions, you know, I would like to feel part of the solution to Zambia's problems, but that needs for him as the president and his government to enable me to have access to, you know, access to first of all the politicians themselves because they are the decision makers, I need to have enough opportunities as a businesswoman, if I'm if I'm a businesswoman, to thrive without being overburdened, overburdened rather with taxes. You know, as an artist, I should be able to thrive off my art because that's what I'm good at. You know, we won't all be mathematicians, doctors, you know, and all of that. So basically, I would love for the president to create an environment where all of us can thrive and you know enjoy our work, enjoy our lives, and you know um, just yeah live um, with better conditions. No.